Hi guys, Jacob Ober here. Today we're talking about the most recent Brewers loss. Uh, that seems to be a common theme now with these videos. Every time I'm talking, I'm talking about a brutal loss. And today it might have been the most brutal loss all season, and in fact in the past four seasons. This I have I have honestly never seen the Brewers blow a game like this. This was just... So the Brewers got swept in a five-game series against the Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, and the final loss of the series uh, was a game that the Brewers, 99 times out of 100, should have won. If you didn't watch the game, here's how it went down. So the Brewers take the lead. It's 2-2. The Brewers take the lead on a Brett Phillips triple into the gap uh, that scores three runs. It's the top of the eighth, you think. Man, the Brewers finally got this. We've got it. We're finally going to break out of our slump, right? Wrong. Next inning, Jeremy Jeffress does come in and give up a run, but the run was given up on a weekly hit uh, ground ball that beats the shift. For Council, that's just too much, and he's got to take him out for Corey Knable, who has been a uh, really not has, has not had his best season this year. Takes takes Jeffress out, brings in Corey Knable, who has to sweat to get out of the inning as he walks another batter. Uh, then the next inning, the Brewers are up 5-3 to three at the two-run game. You're thinking, okay, the Brewers have got this. They just need three more outs, just don't allow two runs. Uh, and lo and behold, the Brewers allow two runs to score. So the Brewer, the Pirates load the bases. Uh, Knable does get a ground ball to get out of the bases loaded jam. So it's there's a run around third and uh, and two outs. And the, it's again, it's, uh, it's, and uh, it's, it, it, there, it's, I can't even speak right now. That's how upset I am. Uh, and there's two outs. There's runner on third. And it's David Fries at the plate, who has been a Brewers killer his entire career. And he hits, on his last strike, down to his last strike, he hits a fly ball that goes off the wall. Just barely missed a home run. Looked very similar, I would say, to the uh, one in the World Series that tied the game for the St. Louis Cardinals, actually. Bounced off the wall and scored a couple runs to tie the game. He ties the game. Then Knable gets out of it. So it's the 10th inning, you know. Brewers come to bat, and they're going up against the pitcher with a 22 ERA. And they do score a run off of him. Brett Phillips comes through again, gives the Brewers a 6-5 to five lead. Very next inning, Taylor Williams on, to, on, to, on for the Brewers. He gets the first out. The second out, a weekly hit uh, ground ball. Uh, one arm single that gets past uh, the second baseman, Brad Miller, for a base hit. So the, the tying run is on, and uh, then Taylor Williams gets the next out a pop-up to Aguilar, and then there's a lefty that comes up. And, Dan, and, and, and Craig Council really outdid himself with this one. He, he takes Taylor Williams out, who by all, by all means I think was going to get through the inning just fine and get the Brewers would have won the game. He takes Williams out, tries to play the matchup, you know, which is, God, one of the dumbest things in baseball, trying to play a matchup. I, I hate it when managers do this. Absolutely hate it, especially when a, when, a, when a player is pitching pretty well. And Taylor Williams was pitching pretty well in that inning. He takes Williams out, brings in Dan Jennings. Dan Jennings gives up a base hit. Now there's runners at the corners, two outs. And by this point, the rain is coming down very hard, and... And and then Josh Bell comes to the plate and 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 I think it was the first pitch, maybe I don't maybe it was the second I don't know. And he and he gives up a double in center field that gets over Kane's head. Very tough catch it would have taken for Kane to make. Obviously, not even the best of the best could have gotten to it. Uh, and then the. Tying run scores, and then, and then the, and then, the the winning run scores because the throw gets by Kratz. It, he beat him by a literally a mile. I, the throw beat him by a fucking mile. And and it got through his legs, and the Brewers lose. And that's how it happened. 
It's the past two times the Brewers have had a good record around the All Star break. They've they've collapsed. The Brewers still have the are off to their best start in in franchise history. I know that by tomorrow I will be more optimistic about this, but honestly, this was the worst managed game I've ever seen by Council. Just God, he 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 tried to outdo himself every single time. He every single move he made was just him trying to out, outsmart himself. It it honestly felt like the Brewers were trying to lose the game at some points. They just wanted to lose. Guys, I this is this is honestly the the worst I have ever felt making a video. Honestly, I I hate the fact that I have to sit in front of this camera and tell you guys this because I have never felt so awful about a loss. It's a six game losing streak now. They've lost seven of their past eight. Yeah, seven of their past eight. They got swept in a five game series. Now we have to wait an entire week. For more Brewers baseball, and honestly, at this point, thinking of watching Brewers, the Brewers again, just makes me sick. It it just makes me sick right now. That's how awful this loss was. I have never seen a loss as terrible as this one. The Cubs are destroying the Padres right now. They're going to go up two and a half games in the Central. I don't I don't really have anything else to say honestly at this point. Just just the worst thing I have ever seen. The worst loss I have ever seen. One of the worst one of the absolute worst. I'm trying to think of a game that I felt this bad after seeing. Maybe it was I I went to the Dodgers Brewers game last year when Shaw at the Grand Slam and then we gave up like another Grand Slam to lose the game. That was really bad. I think this one tops it though considering the fact that we had lost five straight leading up to it and we had a perfect opportunity to break out of our slump. Well, the Brewers are still 12 over 500. They should be much further over 500. They could have won many of the games that they lost in the slump. Really wasn't to be, I guess. So, I mean, you win some, you lose some, although this definitely should have been the one we should have won, and we should have won a lot of games that we lost on this stretch, but we'll just have to wait a week until the Brewers come back home and face the Dodgers and the Nationals. It's going to be tough, but the only way to the only way to get through this is just to fight through it. We thought we ended it today. We didn't. Just have to end it next game. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.